Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over my transfer plans for game week 13 and also any knee-jerk reactions from game week 12. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 50 likes. Leave a comment, how did you get on in game week 12? Subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So starting things off, I'm looking at another green arrow in game week 12. But I still feel like I did so, so badly this week because of, as you can see, on the bench, Simicast 15-pointer. Oh, man, it's, it just feels like such a red arrow because of that. The fact that I still got a green arrow, I'm very, very happy about. But it could have been so much more. It could have been a 90-plus week. Um, and I could have been going into the international break with two free transfers. But I played it wrong. I feel like I've been doing a lot of bad decisions lately. But yeah, I finished on 78 points. Ariola picking up two points. As I said, I did not think that West Ham would uh, would keep a clean sheet against Forest. And uh, yeah, as a Forest fan, that was a really annoying uh, game, <laughs> game to see. Uh, with it being 3-2 in like the 88th minute. Really, really annoying. But it is what it is. Suchek was always going to score with the amount of crosses they were getting into the box. War Prowse finally getting some returns as well. So if you have stuck by him, then obviously you're going to be very, very happy. But uh, yeah, my transfer for that week was um, Botman out. Gabriel in. I mean, I'm not, in, in hindsight, I'm not disappointed. Because obviously I, was, I had to get rid of Botman anyway. Um, not Botman, uh, Dan Burn, should I say. I had to get rid of Burn anyway, and he did also drop in price, so I kind of had to bring somebody in for him. But uh, yeah, just the fact that Gabriel uh, conceded to Burnley and then Simicast went and got 15 points, like two assists, clean sheet, and two bonus. It's, it's a hard pill to swallow, it really is. Especially Matty Cash also only picking up two points as well, conceding quite late into the game. Um, and then Anderson only getting one point as well. Like, the back line and the goalkeeper were just absolutely terrible this week. Definitely no points at all from any of those. So really, really unfortunate. Again, if I played Simicast instead of Gabriel and I rolled the transfer, I would have been on what, like 91, something like that, 91, 92. So yeah, it would have been a very, very nice green arrow. Probably would have put me up to like 20K. Um, but yeah, I just can't seem to get past 30K. You know, I went from 32 to like 35 to 37, now back to 32. So yeah, I'm just kind of around this spot. I mean, it's still a very good rank, don't get me wrong, but oh, that 15 point on the bench, just, it feels like a sucker punch. But anyway, that was the back line. In midfield, He chan picking up two points. Uh, really, really unfortunate. I thought that they would do well against Spurs and they were attacking them for a big majority of the game but yeah only two points from Hechan not ideal only two from Sun you can definitely tell that there's like a difference with the lack of your Madisons and, and, and players like that but uh, I still think Sun should be okay but uh, yeah that was really really unfortunate because that was the first game of the week as well so when they both picked up only two points I was like oh god don't give me another game week 11 situation but either way they both picked, uh, picked up two points Saka only picking up against, uh, five against Burnley as well was also really really unfortunate um, Bowen picking up eight points Bowen is just ticking along for me man he's getting price rises so happy I brought him in on the wild card because he's got him so much money and he's scored like pretty much every game apart from one um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with that Bowen transfer. And again, I probably will be getting rid of him from Bumo in game week 14. But if he just keeps scoring, it's going to be very, very difficult to get rid of him. Because there's no reason to get rid of him now. Like, he's still making me money. He's getting me points every week. Um, I think it would probably not be the greatest idea to get rid of him. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Salah only... Oh, only. Salah picking up 32 points, uh, should I say. Very, very happy about that. Two goals, max bonus, obviously got the clean sheet, 32 points, absolutely ridiculous. Haaland picking up 16 as well, so there was actually nothing in between them. Um, but it just shows like how much better it is to kind of um, captain a midfielder instead, because Haaland got three attacking returns, Salah got two, but they still finished on the same amount of points. Like, because of the plus one for the, the two goals that he got, and obviously the clean sheet point, that's three points, so obviously that is the same as Haaland's um, assist as well. So, yeah, I mean, even though Salah got less attacking returns, still finished on the same points as Haaland. So, uh, yeah, either way, if you went for Salah or Haaland this week, you know, it's, it's a nice handshake between both parties because they did pick up 48 points between them, which I'm very, very happy about. Uh, but, I mean, a lot of people would have captained either one of them anyway. I mean, a lot of people don't own Haaland as well. I, I say a lot. A few people don't own him. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that, that 16 pointer definitely would have hurt. But uh, Watkins picking up six points as well. And then the bench... <sighs> Simicast 15, Kabore 1, and Archer picking up 2 points as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's back-to-back -back game weeks of making a wrong transfer. And now I'm going into the international break with only one free transfer. My team's fine for game week 13. Like, I don't think it really needs too much... Um, really to sort it out but again i'll probably make my team selection on on wednesday i usually take a day off in between when it's the international break because 
it's the international break. There's not a lot going on with FPL. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably go over my team on Wednesday or something like that. But either way, yeah, finished on 78 points. Um, yeah, not not ideal with, with the 15-pointer on the bench. But it is what it is. Still got a green arrow. Up to 32k in the world. And, uh, yeah, very, very happy about it going into the international break. So uh, that was how I got in in game week 12. Let's move on to some knee-jerk reactions as well. Um, because transfers are very much all over the place right now. Like, I, I generally don't know who to bring in. Because I've got Cash who's got, like, Spurs away. Um, which I've been a little bit disappointed, really, with um, uh, Aston Villa's uh, clean sheets lately. Like, the only reason Cash got that clean sheet a couple of game week weeks ago was because he went off early. Um, but apart from that, he's been a little bit annoying to own. And there is a bit of money tied up with him as well. Like, I could sell him for 5 mil if he doesn't get a price drop. Um, and so if that is the case, then... I could definitely bring in a good defender for him. But uh, either way, Bowen, the most transferred in player this week. I think that's probably just because of the Madison injury. Um, I, I understand that's why a lot of people are bringing him in. But not only that, he's just been in really, really good form as well. If you actually go to his um, his latest games. Like I say, the only game I brought him in. Uh, oh, no. To be fair, I brought him in game week eight on that wild card. Didn't get anything against Newcastle. Didn't get anything against Everton. Scored against Villa. Scored against uh, Brentford. Scored against Forest. Um, and obviously the fixtures coming up for them are really, really good as well. They've got Burnley in game week 13. Palace in 14. Spurs in 15. Fulham and then Wolves. Um, so it is very much worth having a look at him at least. Especially because it's an easy transfer from Madison to uh, to Bowen. I understand that a lot of people went Matoma. That benching was a little bit unfortunate for him. Um, but uh, either way, I think Bowen is definitely one of the best midfielders to own in the game right now. I don't even know how much he is right now. He's 7.7. He's .7. I think I bought him for like 7.2. Something like that. So it just shows you how much he's actually going up in price in a few game weeks. But either way, Bowen, most transferred in player so far. Saliba also being transferred in by a lot of players. I think Saliba owners were a little bit lucky. I know he scored, but obviously if they kept that clean sheet against Burnley, he would have been on a massive haul as well. But uh, either way, yeah, Saliba, he's just a nice option to have because he's not going to get benched. Whereas Gabriel, there's always that chance. But uh, either way, Saliba, yeah, I do like him. But yeah, 5.4 is getting a little bit more expensive now for an Arsenal defender. And then also that Palmer being brought in by a lot of players. Um, I mean, a lot of his um, points are just simply coming from uh, the penalty spot, which is fine. You know, it is one of the benefits of having a penalty taker. But I, it's when Nkunku comes back. You know, he should be back after the international break, or at least very close coming back after the international break. Um, that's when it's going to be interesting if he's off penalties. Because I think if he's off penalties, it definitely makes him not as good as an option. But he's 5.1 mil. Like, I'm definitely thinking of bringing him in around game week 14. Because Brighton at home is obviously a good fixture. United away is not bad. And then look at this sea of green fixtures that Chelsea have got. Everton, Sheffield United, Wolves, Palace, Luton, Fulham. Like, that is just a straight two Chelsea players probably. Like, I'll probably bring in, like, Colwell as well game week. Uh, maybe game week 16 because I don't really I don't think I really need a defender for for these game weeks here um, and I could even bring him in this week as well against Newcastle I'm probably not going to but um, yeah so when these fixtures turn like apart from the Liverpool game like they're all a two rating from game week uh, 16 to game week 8 uh, 24 which is crazy so yeah I think Palmer will be fine there maybe even on Kunku as well could be a really nice option um, if, if people are thinking of getting rid of Ollie Watkins I, I definitely think that could be an option as well uh, just because of the amazing fixtures they've got so yeah it might be might be worth looking at getting rid of him especially if Nkunku is going to be on penalties again but either way Palmer for his price absolutely ridiculous steal uh, Salah also being transferred in by a lot of players I think he actually had a price rise last night he's now 13 mil um, so yeah very expensive uh, and if you don't own him, I think it's only going to get better because they've got some really nice fixtures coming up as well, um, which is obviously, well, the City one, I mean, that could go either way. But then Fulham, Sheffield United, Crystal Palace, really, really nice fixtures coming up for Salah. And then Mbumo as well being transferred by a lot of managers, getting him ready for those game week 14 fixtures and onwards. But the thing is, like, we're bringing Mbumo for, for um, Bowen. He's also blanking in game week 18. Um, so I don't know because I don't really want to be having to use most of my bench in game week 18 because... Mbumo and Haaland both won't be playing, so I'll have to be bringing in. I'll have to be playing someone like Archer as well as uh, maybe Kabore or something like that. So I'm not really too sure. Maybe I keep Bowen. There's no reason to get rid of Bowen, but the fact that Mbumo is on penalties as well definitely helps him out. He's also a lot cheaper as well. He's like a mil cheaper. So yeah, definitely I'll have to have a, a think about that. But they're the most transferred in players so far. Again, don't do any transfers yet. International break is a thing. 
A lot of injuries can happen, especially this season. It feels like it's happening a lot. But most transferred out players, Madison, 400k people who are getting rid of him. Again, probably to the likes of Bowen. Maybe to even a, a Palmer. Maybe even to an Mbumo. Maybe moving up to Salah. Completely understand. He's going to be out from like one to three months. So, yeah, you, you definitely want to get rid of him. Romero uh, still on that suspension as well to the 7th of December. No reason to really have him in your team. Uh, why I think we'll be fine after the international break. I don't think it's worth really getting rid of him. Um, just simply because it's, I think it's only a small injury. And again, he's got two weeks to recover now. So if you've got Ben White, there's not really much point in getting rid of him. Especially because a lot of people will probably be getting rid of him for Saliba. I mean, 5.8 I think is quite expensive for Ben White. Like, I don't think he offers enough to be worth 5.8. I'd much rather have Saliba instead. So maybe if that's a transfer you're doing, then fair enough. But it very much feels like a sideways transfer. Matoma also being transferred out by a lot of players, even though he just had a price rise as well. He went up to 6.6, .6, but I think that benching's really annoyed a lot of people. I mean, they've still got Forrest away, uh, which is an okay fixture for them. But um, yeah, either way, Matoma, I, I understand why people are getting rid of him, but I think it is a little bit knee-jerky. And then Sun as well, really, really um, surprised to see this as well, because I think Sun's just a hold. I think he's so good. I don't think it matters what fixture he's got. I think he's just going to be a really good player to have in the team. And I'm not getting rid of him anytime soon. He's, he's, he's a really, really good asset to have. But either way, these are the, the most transferred in and out players so far for game week 13. Again, we've got an international break. So hold the transfers because anything can happen. The worst thing is to go early on a transfer unless you're like going to get priced out. But even then... Like, if you go early on a transfer and you bring in this player and they get injured, you're just making more of a mess for yourself. But either way, if you enjoyed, please drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 50 likes. Leave a comment. How did you get on in Game Week 12? Subscribe if you're brand new. Until next time, peace.